Hi everyone, welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Craft. So this is to be video two in my introduction to knot series. And I wanted to bring you guys something practical today. And that's uh, a few knots that you can use for setting up a ridge line uh, for getting your shelter up. I want to cover uh, the anchor hitch or anchor bend and the alpine butterfly. So stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Craft. Hi everyone, welcome back. So let's start with the uh, anchor hitch or anchor bend. I want to start by talking about uh, the mechanics of the knot. Set it up here once and then I want to bring the camera in a little closer so you can see the details of it. But I want to talk you through it here. Uh, I'll probably put a, uh, a zoom in up in the corner but I'm not sure how much of it you'll be able to see till we bring you in a little closer. But I want to talk about why uh, and how you might use this rope first before we get into the real close up. So starting with the standing part in your hand and the end, you want to bring it around uh, the tree you, you want your ridge line on. And what I find convenient is to give yourself about a, an arm's length of end around the tree because uh, the mechanics of this knot work because of friction. Because you're taking now uh, your end back around the tree and now you've got it in your, in your hand. What you've got here is a loop around the tree that has a lot of friction. Just trying to pull this and twist it is, is really the power of the knot. There's a lot of friction there. What you're going to do uh, to complete the knot is now with the end you're going to come underhand through the loop that you've, you've created and your standing part. So you're going to come underhand through them both up like so. Start by pulling that taut. Now to complete the knot you've got the end and you want to come under the standing part and then back through creating a loop against the standing part. And that's the knot complete. Just pull that a little bit. And this knot basically relies on friction. If I was to get a hold of this now and pull, it's not going anywhere. But the beauty of this is all I got to do is grab a hold of that, pull it back out, and it's done. It doesn't bind, and you can easily salvage your rope and use it again and again. So let's bring the camera in, get a close up on that so you can see how it's done. Okay, so let's get in for a bit of a close up. So I start on the right hand of the tree. I have my end in my hand, standing part behind me. I come around from the right hand side of the tree. And as you can see right now, all I have, if you remember your terminology, is a bend, a bend in the rope. Now give yourself that arm's length of slack so you can make uh, both of your loops. Cross over hand, so now you've got your first loop bring it around the back of the tree, staying on top, and cross overhand again. So now you've got two loops on that tree. Now what you do is at this point, now you take your end and you come underhand through both of your loops. You can pull it out there a bit. I want to keep my thumb out of the way. But you come underhand through both of your loops and pull that tight. Once you've got that tight there, With your end, you now come under your standing part. See that there? Under. Complete a loop and pull it back through. And that is an anchor hitch or anchor bend. And probably you'll be able to see me bend the tree pulling on it. That's how much friction it has. And the beauty of it, just give it a little jiggle pull that rope back through and take it home with you. It doesn't bind up. So let's tie this end off, set up the other side and I'll show you the alpine butterfly and how that applies to setting up a ridge line here. Okay, so let's talk about the alpine butterfly and then I'll show you how to, how to use it afterwards. To tie the alpine butterfly, 
the terminology is still the same. You're tying it in the middle of the rope, but you still have a standing part running back and a working end that you're tying the knot with, even though you don't see the tip of the rope. Run the rope across your hand like this, from, uh, from right to left. Come under and make a loop over your fingers. You see it in the back there as an overhand loop. Now come back over your original standing end. And I like to hold it in my thumb right there. So you see you get your loop running around your fingers and your loop crossing over your palm. Now this is where the knot gets finished. Basically take this loop and go under the second loop and pull it through, pull it through here. I just want to demonstrate that before I do it. I'm going to take this and go underhand through the second loop. So I'm going to take it, pull it down, fold my fingers, follow the path and pull it up through. And what you get is an eye in your rope like that. You see that? Now the reason that's going to work for us is because it's going to give us a point when we come around the tree that we can put our rope back through to pull it taut. So I'm going to zoom the camera back a little bit and show you how I'm going to put this alpine butterfly into use. So here's where the alpine butterfly comes in handy. I've got my uh, anchor hitch tied to another tree right over there about six feet. Now. If I just came over here and started tying another anchor hitch, it'd be hard for me to get much tension in this. Even if I pulled really, really hard, I still get a lot of slack in it, just because I don't have the leverage. The Alpine Butterfly can help you to uh, create a point where you can winch the rope tight against the tree. So let's say uh, I want a little space to, to tie it. I'll pick a spot like about a foot out, or maybe a foot and a half or a bit, uh, to tie my alpine butterfly. So then, here I go, tie my alpine butterfly. Go back through the video if you want to review how to do it. Alright, so there's my alpine butterfly and notice it's, uh, it's a ways out from the tree there. Now, to use this effectively, come around the tree this would be your standing part now because you're not really using it, you're done with it. You've got your end and uh, run it through the loop of the, al the eye of the alpine butterfly. doesn't matter whether you go through from the top or the bottom. Going through from the bottom looks pretty clean here. But you see now you've got a leverage point. See how I'm able to winch the standing part of the rope tight? Look at that now. Excellent leverage. And that is tight, tight, tight. Now, what I would do with that leverage is I would complete my ridge line by tying the anchor hitch that I showed you. So I'd come around the tree. There's my once, twice. Underhand, go back through it if you need to see it. Underhand through both my loops. And then here's my, my standing end now coming back from the, from the Alpine Butterfly. And I would go underhand through that. Back through as I showed you. If you want to review the video. And there you have it. A really really tight ridge line using two knots. The anchor hitch or anchor loop and the Alpine Butterfly. And I didn't show you a second ago when I was demoing the Alpine Butterfly, but just like the anchor hitch comes undone like a snap, the whole reason I like the Alpine Butterfly is for the same reason. Pull your anchor hitch apart. Your Alpine Butterfly, look at all the weight that you put onto it, torquing it. Give it a little jiggle. Boom, gone. Take your rope home. So that's the anchor hitch or anchor loop and the Alpine Butterfly. 
why don't you guys go on out and try those next time you want to tie up a ridge line. I think you'll, uh, I think you'll like the results. So that's going to wrap it up for us here today at Outdoor Adventure Craft. Thanks for joining me. Uh, those two knots, the uh, anchor hitch or bend and the alpine butterfly are pretty basic knots and that's kind of the stuff I want to stick to here in the introduction to knot series. There's lots of good reference material all over the internet uh, for knots and stuff. So if, uh, if I didn't just explain it clear enough here in the video, you know, absolutely get out there, uh, study practice it on your own and uh, you'll become quite proficient at it. I had to practice it a lot before I uh, was comfortable showing it to you guys because I'm really learning a lot of this stuff as we go. Um, I want to say thanks again guys for watching. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, support me here on Outdoor Adventure Craft. I'm also really excited to announce my new website. It's basically uh, it's a WordPress uh, style uh, feed. I'm gonna have lots of pictures and uh, articles from my videos so the content's going to expand. I've also uh, included a store, an Amazon store. I'd really like to uh, encourage you guys to go check it out. I've selected some products, some good name brands, some essential products and I've got the store organized uh, by priorities of survival uh, as well as some additional uh, good gear to look into. So uh, check it out guys at Outdoor Adventure Craft and thanks a lot for joining me here today guys. We'll see you next time.